Okay, guys, today we are looking at the Malfeasance, man. The Malfeasant, whatever you want to call it, it's here and it's pretty damn beasty at this point. 180s have been given a kind of like a secret buff to their damage, doing one more damage than before, so it's not a huge buff, but a little bit more damage goes the extra mile. And 20 in the magazine is pretty crazy for a hand cannon, even if it's a 180. Having 20 bullets to fire at people is pretty crazy. And when you consider it takes five shots to activate the Taken Slug explosion that makes the Malfeasance so deadly, well, it's pretty nice. Technically, in one magazine, you could explode four different Guardians, which is pretty powerful. The explosions, their range is pretty much limitless, giving this gun a real, real X factor and an exotic factor that a lot of weapons miss. Some exotics feel kind of meh, Malfeasus isn't one of them, even if it's a 180 RPM hand cannon with a one second time to kill, it is not a weapon to be sniffed at. Let me tell you right now, it is actually pretty damn nasty. And let me tell you why it's so good. Obviously with it being a 180 and having max stability, the consistency on the weapon is basically as consistent as it can get. You are never going to have a missed shot with this. It's hard to miss with this weapon, is what I'm trying to say. It is very easy to just consistently peck away at people. And as you're going to see here, we're pecking away at this guy. And look how far away we're killing him with this weapon. It, it, it's catching him off because basically at those kind of ranges, you can really lull someone into a false sense of security with this gun. And what I mean by that is, say if you're like pecking away at someone far away with body shots with Malfeasance, you're not doing a lot of damage. You might even be doing like 15 a bullet. And that really is just like, you know, you're pecking away at them. It's kind of irritating, but they're not taking huge damage from you. So they might not necessarily be in a rush to disengage, you know, as opposed to say if you're hitting them with a 120 and doing half the health in one bullet, then, you, then they know like, okay, I'm, I'm in trouble here. With the Malfeasance, they're getting pecked away and they're not taking much damage. And then when those explosions come in, you're just dead. Like, the amount of damage they do, I don't know exactly how much damage they do, but it's a lot of damage. Because at any time, like, I've never seen someone survive those explosions. Even someone in a super, if I'm shooting at them, they just die from that shit. It's, it's very, very powerful. And it's a really cool thing about this gun, man. It's just, it's different, you know? It can just catch people off. Like, you think this Dawnblade cares getting tagged for 18 a body when he's in a super, and then next thing you know, he's just dead. <laughs> like... That, that kind of range there was obviously, a, you know, that was a bit too far. He too bursted me off a head glitch from that far away. So obviously that guy's just an insane player. But yeah, that kind of range, a little bit, a step too far. But when you catch someone in that 30, 40 meter range with this gun, as long as you can keep yourself relatively healthy with your own health, you know, staying in cover and that kind of thing, you can put in a lot of work. Now, if you just saw there in that other clip, we are using Whisper of Hedrons. And when you do have the extra damage, from freezing an enemy, the gun does 72 to the head, which basically allows you to three tap with the gun, which is absolutely filthy being able to three tap with a weapon this consistent and also this powerful when you factor in the slugs. I don't think I ever actually got to see how much damage the slugs would do with the weapon buff because I usually kill them before five shots with that damage buff. It's pretty much impossible not to kill them in less than five shots with that damage buff. Even if you don't three tap them, you'll probably four tap them. But again, these ranges right here, are very much, you know, not a kind of range where you would want to engage with basically any hand cannon aside from a 120. No other hand cannon is going to be doing anything significant from that kind of range. And obviously, you know, the 180s are just a very, very underused archetype. And it's understandable, especially the legendaries without like big damage buffs. They are not very viable. This is the best 180 in the game by a mile because it's capable of so much. With charge with light or a damage buff, you're going to be three tapping. Okay, I just want to show you guys this thing. I like. Is this news to you guys as well? But the no time to explain little buddy guy is immune to being frozen. I didn't know that. I was very salty there, getting you know booped out of my super by a little bullet, man. That hurt my feelings, man. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the malfeasance can just do so much. It can three tap with a damage buff, it can map people across the map, it can take out supers better than probably any primary in the game. When I think about it, I can't think of another primary weapon that can do this kind of damage to a super. It's very, very much a unique weapon and a very, very powerful one, even if it's a 180. I think people kind of turn their nose up at it because it's a 180 and they are generally quite weak, but this is not a weak gun, man. This is not a weak gun. 
it is very, very powerful. And I think even in this meta with that little bit of bump to its damage and that nerf to auto rifles as well, really means that this gun has a place in the meta. It's just something that you're just not expecting. And I think people don't really respect what this gun can do. Cause I'm telling you, if you play this thing smart, it's very powerful. You don't want to take 1v1 duels against a 140 with this hand cannon. So if someone, decent players using Ace of Spades, you don't want to take a 1v1 with him. That's just not the strength of this weapon. You want to cash them in awkward ranges. You want to just, pick, you know, like I said before, peck away at them. You know, they're not going to be taking you too seriously because they're not taking that much damage. And then the taking slugs will do the rest. It's, it's a really, really cool gun, man. And I implore you to give it a try if you haven't already. There's not much for us PvP guys to do, man. Trying new guns is the only thing that will make this game feel fresh to you, man. So if you're one of those guys who just runs the meta every game in quick play, just consider trying some other guns because it actually will make the game more fun for you. I know a lot of people, they're, they're in the Crucible day in, day out. They use Fell Winter and Dire Promise. And, you know, they're some of the loudest voices that complain about the game as well. Don't get me wrong. PvP is in an awful state and complaints are justified, but there are things you can do to freshen up your own experience. Basically trying other weapons and things like that, especially in quick play where there's really nothing at stake. You know, why not try a different weapon? You might have some fun. Okay, my shoddy whiff there and I'm salty about it. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just a little, little bit of advice because trust me, man, using the same shit all the time does get boring. I felt really, really, you know, refreshed using the Malfeasance. Just feels different to a normal hand cannon. And I wasn't rocking a slug shoddy. I was actually using, I think I had felt witness on actually, but I wasn't using it much to be fair. I was just basically primering the whole time with this weapon because it's just, you know, it's a very strong primary gun, a very exotic weapon. And if you haven't tried it in a while, just give it a try, man. Give it a try. Even if it's a 180 and you think 180s are for noobs or whatever, trust me guys. Just trust me on this one. Also, that guy, you got frozen, bud. Unfortunate. Guys, don't forget to hit that sub button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you did. We do put out daily Destiny 2 content, all PvP focused. Also, we are streaming live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv forward slash shake. If you want to come by the stream, come down. Love to see you there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.